Since London Mayor Sadiq Khan extended the capital's ultra-low emission zone in the pursuit of cleaner air, the backlash has become increasingly ferocious. Why are there so many ULES cameras? They're trying to restrict people's freedom of movement. Protesters are finding new ways to block, attack and destroy as many as possible of the 2,000 or so cameras covering the city. He's on his phone now, so that tells me he's scrambling the back up. But despite some understandable concerns about how the scheme has been rolled out, are conspiracy theories diluting the activists' message? Are you at all concerned about the environmental crisis? What, 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 what environmental crisis? If you start inquiring properly, you will go down the rabbit hole. Your life will change. I'm in Windsor, just outside the ULES itself, to join the hunt for one of the roaming camera vans that enforce the low emission zone. Ali. Hi. Ali became involved with the protest movement after having to replace her non-compliant vehicle or face a £12.50 daily charge for her regular crossings into the zone. There's a rumour that there's a van out. We've got a couple of WhatsApp groups and the main anti ulez page. There's the location page. You do this every day or several days a week? Every day we're monitoring. Really? Um, yeah. So um, there we go, we've got one. OK, we're ready to go. Right, well, let's go, lead on. Ali blocks cameras dressed up in a costume that has become synonymous with the protest movement. Oh, you got any sort of motivational phrases when you get going? Let's take action! Honk if you hate them. Bring Khan down. Bring Khan down. The dinosaur dressing up movement. Do you think it's a good way of winning hearts and minds? I do think it brings a bit of fun into it. It grabs people's attention and gets them asking questions. There is a practical benefit to the dinosaur outfits as well. Yeah, it keeps me warm. Two, no. <laughs> two practical benefits. The head of a dino is about the same height as a camera on a van. We're now in the ULES. So wow, goodness yeah. me. There it is. On the right there. On the right. White van, someone's blocking already. We need to find a parking space. Well, I can cross watch someone put an inflatable dinosaur outfit on at the side of the road off my bucket list now. <laughs> so this is it, you just sort of stand here We can here stand here, put some music on the speaker, have a party. It's a dinosaur. Doesn't seem too freaked out by uh, an apex predator. I was. Not much is going on there. It's pretty relaxed and subdued. Is it always like this? Yeah, it can be like this. Some of them like a bit of hype and aggro. The activists are wary of the van drivers, and with good reason. Stop! Stop! Police! Police! Hi. You alright? No, not big. Well, it's not broken. Though the violence is hardly one way traffic. Security's just got egged. What are you going to do about it? There's a brick now. Look at that then. People don't like ULEZ around here. Unperturbed, anti ULEZ campaigners hold regular awareness raising protests at bustling suburban junctions. We're in Sutton on the edge of the ULEZ zone, and over there, there's a big protest. It's actually reasonably well attended. I'm keen to find out what motivates people to support this cause. Is this your protest? Yeah. You, you must be very pleased with how it's turning out. No, it's bloody good. This show how pissed off people are with this, that they will get out in this weather and come and keep carrying on doing this. People are so angry. Why are you here? The poorest people are paying an absolute price for this. They didn't have time to prepare for it. There is air pollution, but this isn't the way to deal with it. It's a nightmare, basically. The mental health suffers. I'm going. Yeah, you know, I just want to get out and visit people, but yeah. you can't. It's twelve pound fifty. Yeah, I'm a minimum wage. I can have from twelve fifty a day. And the scrappage scheme. Um, I can't get on that. I'm afraid. You've got to join the parade. Despite plenty of absurdist humour at the protest, there's nothing jovial about the message here today and much of the anger is directed at one man. Hope you hate Senate card! I'll give you all Senate card out! Other placards here point to a fear of creeping authoritarianism 
with many voices referencing the suspected introduction of a paper mile scheme, one that the mistrusted mayor has already ruled out. Today's been a good protest, right? No, we've got a lot of support out there, but none of them will come and join us. These cameras for another use. Paper mile will come in, then you'll see people come out, because that's every vehicle. People should be able to move freely around their country, and we'd be restricted. We then move into the realms of 15-minute cities, which I'm sure you've heard about. I have. Yeah. On paper, it sounds like a very sensible thing, that, that you all your amenities will be in 15-minute walk of your home. Would you be happy that you can't go beyond 15 minutes? No, but that's not what's happening. You've got new leads, LGs, 15 minute cities, 20 mile hour zones, yeah. all of that is to stop us driving. What do you think the end goal is for all of that? Control, depopulation. Depopulation. When you put this together, I'm going to sound really crazy, no, no, no. but I'm fine with that. We already have a pay per mile tax that doesn't see people out on the streets in protest. It's better known as fuel duty. But as greater numbers of drivers switch to electric cars, a new form of paper mile tax seems inevitable at a national level. And while the conversation gets more suspicious, the atmosphere becomes more febrile. I think you're lucky that camera's still in one piece. This situation is getting a little bit dangerous now, right? There's people yeah. driving around around. Someone's going to get hurt. This Come is on. stupid. But that's nothing to do with you, then. It's, it's easier to start well, this stuff than it is to stop but, it. But you know? no, the easiest way to stop it is actually just get rid of you, then. There's been a lot of support around this roundabout today, a lot of horns beeping and so on. But when you see things like that, I think a lot of people sort of think, hang on, hang on, that, hang on. Like, not so no, sure no, about no, that. I, I couldn't agree more. Okay, we, we, we try to keep it, we try to keep it as law abiding as we can. We cannot stop people doing that. We're not condoning that. it, I'm not blaming them for doing it, because they're absolutely pissed off with what's going on. It's only when that sort of stuff happens that anybody takes any notice. Although such attacks usually occur under the cover of night, the self-styled Blade Runners who pull cameras down are showing no signs of stopping. If anything, tactics appear to be escalating, with police saying a recent explosion in Sidcup, which damaged a ULEZ camera, was caused by a homemade bomb. As a leader of this movement, I want to get a better understanding of how Nick sees where things might be headed. I think it's this one, right? Nick! Hello. Hi. Hey, I'll come. Hey. How many cars have you got, Nick? Oh, this is it. Now. One, two. Three, four, five? Yeah. How many of them are ULES compliant? That is. That is? That is. Because of their classics, but that will go. How much of your complaints about ULES, what you see this sort of creep towards something else? The whole camera network is about surveillance, control, under the guise of an environmental measure. His own report said negligible impact on air quality. It also said the poor would be disproportionately affected. People who are sort of clean air scientists and things like that mm. will say actually there is a tangible benefit here both on a human health level but also on a climate change level that we address some of these things and it has yeah. shown to work okay. in central London. It might not be the okay. one thing that's going to save the world. But, but see, that's your scientists. You're, you're talking They're not about, my scientists, you're, no, no, no. you're talking about scientists that actually get media coverage. Don't mention how dirty it is. Nick takes me to the edge of the zone to highlight some of the issues with the implementation of the scheme. This is the M25. Right. Bob, you're in it. Where's the sign? No sign. Yeah, yeah first one. Here we go. Does it say a charge oh. anywhere there? If there is a charge, the charge has to be indicated on the sign. That doesn't point to a huge conspiracy to me. That just points no, that's to sort that's of... That's uh... that absolute stupidity, that is. Now, you didn't right. see a load, load of cameras back there, did you? But then you come onto this estate here. Oh shit, it's gone. <laughs> oh, sorry, I shouldn't laugh. On that post last week was a camera. There's more signs than this close. Than yeah, there are exactly. Anywhere. What on earth? This does seem bonkers to me. These have been down twice, these ones. They were replaced, now they're painted. The next traffic lights we're gonna to come to, I don't think they've got any at the moment, but there's been three sets there so far. So there's a ULES camera there. I'll have to, oh, better not say that. Um, what were you going to say? Nothing. <laughs> That's uh, not true. Go on, what were you going to say? No, no, no. I'm just surprised that there's a working one in Bromley. Oh, well, who's he waiting for? Seriously. Jesus. Sorry. 
I, I'm not the most patient driver. Are you at all concerned about the environmental crisis? What environmental crisis? There, there is broad consensus. There was some research that suggested that over 90% of the entire continent was breathing dirty air. Yeah, look, well, look, yeah, look, oh, look. We're in the middle of Bromley, 4.2. World Health Organization says 10, they're more than happy at. Nick's portable air quality meter consistently gave low readings for particulate matter on a breezy day in South London. But devices like this don't measure levels of ozone or nitrogen dioxide, an air pollutant caused by the burning of fossil fuels that is harmful to human health. It's estimated that 50% of nitrogen dioxide emissions are caused by road traffic. Yeah. There, that's it. Yeah, there it is there. There are apparatus scattered across the capital that give a more complete picture. This is a clean air monitoring yeah. device. It is put quite cynically against that. If it's yeah, put against next to the traffic because that's where the air is potentially well, dirty. No, 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 exactly. Of course, cynically, of course, of course they're going to well, put okay, it here. Then put that down the road there. There are a number of things worth debating about the expansion of ULES and the impact that it's having on certain groups of people. But is that issue being clouded by some of this kind of deep state sort of thinking and, and, oh, and, you and mean, the hatred you mean because, of Because of people Sadiq sort of go Khan down the and, rabbit hole. Yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The difference between most conspiracy theories is just a little bit of time. Yesterday's conspiracy theory today's accepted fact. Not always though. Because I can understand the reservations around how it's being rolled out, whether it's the benefits are worth the downsides. I don't see the benefits. As a nation, we put out less than 1% of the world's pollution. So we shouldn't so bother to no, even no, no. try and address some no, no, of the no, issues. No, no, I'm not that we saying have. you should talk. But I don't consider that we have an air problem. I say anybody who's pro ULIS, educate yourself properly. Do your research. And, 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 yeah. Do your, and, and, and an uninformed opinion is one not worth giving. And you feel me. you're on the right side of Abs history. 100%. Nick's lack of doubt leaves little room for compromise. But further change does seem inevitable, either in belated attempts to mitigate the worst of the climate crisis, or in the reality we face if we don't. The anger and mistrust I've witnessed makes me wonder about how such changes will play out with groups that are worst affected, and how dangerous further attacks might become. Don't be shy. Just tap your heart. That's all you need to do to hate you, though.